up, y'all? I'm Toya from My Froggy Stuff and a longtime Briar fan. Today I'm going to share with you some of my favorite Briar Craft products. There's a variety of Briar Craft and activity kits. Look, I'm even on the packaging! On the back of each one, we can scan the QR code and get crafty. Here is the Paint Your Own Horses Quarter Horse and Saddlebred Kit. It includes two six inch horses, three paint brushes, six paints, and an instruction booklet. On the back of the box, we can see all the items included and it says, horses come in many different colors. Pick your favorite horse and decorate a horse today. This one is the quarter horse and this one is the saddlebred. Wow, these are six inch horses. So I am really excited to get started. Here are the paint colors. We have white, black, and four different hues of brown. Here are the three paint brushes, the instruction booklet, which is educational and fun. It helps us with terminology and gives helpful painting tips. Ooh, this will totally come in handy. Before we start painting, let's gather a few things from home, like a cup of clean water, a paint palette or paper plates to mix paint, paper towels, clear polish to make the eyes look real, and we can use a matte spray to seal the finish. For this horse, I'm gonna start with this beautiful golden yellow color, and we're gonna paint the whole body with a thin, even layer Allow it to dry, then add another layer of paint for the base color. I left the mane and the tail white, along with stockings on the back two legs. Now we're going to use the color right next to it. I believe it's called Raw Sienna. And we're going to use it for a little shading. I have a little bit of paint on my brush, and I'm just placing this darker color in all of the creases. Let's use a little white paint to add some highlights. Then I go back to that golden yellow color to just smooth and blend everything in. And I'm really just taking my time playing with these colors to get them the way that I want. I add a little more shading to the muzzle and around the eyes, paint the hooves, I painted the front two a little darker than the back two. Use the fine tip brush to paint the eyes. And let's scratch off a little bit of paint on the tip of the nose for a snip. Completing our Palomino horse. For the saddlebred, I'm using the raw sienna as a base coat, the burnt umber for shading, paint the muzzle black, Along with the lower legs, let's paint the mane and tail black as well, then finish the eyes to paint a bay horse. My horse is bay, so I kind of have a soft spot for that color. And I want to take this project a step further. Using foam board or cardboard, a wood grain paper, I printed my own using my computer and glue. Cut the foam board into rectangles. I have three four inch by eight inch rectangles and three four inch by six inch rectangles. Stack and glue them together. Once glued, cover them with paper to look like wooden planks. Take the taller plank and glue it behind the shorter one to make an L shape. Glue the horse in place to make bookends. And if you don't want to glue the horse in place, cut a triangle, cover it with paper, glue it in the back to add more support to the bookend and make a display for our model. However you choose to decorate your horses, be sure to have fun and get creative. To learn more about Briar and the real horses who inspire us, visit the Briar website at www.briarhorses.com. And we will see you next time.